Uh, then you, co- you got bumped up co-main event. Your co was Nate Diaz versus Leon Edwards. That's rescheduled for June. Still can't wait for that fight. Um, you have Tony Ferguson versus uh, Darius. This fight's very interesting because you're you're talking about two guys at a crossroads in their career. For a lot of, not you listeners, but for the general fans, they're just getting familiar with Darius. He's had a bunch of fight of the nights. He's had some performance of the nights. You're obviously familiar with Tony Ferguson. Tony's coming off the worst loss of his career against Charles Oliveira. Then he had the Gaethje fight. The you know tip of the spear guys fucked him up, man. Um, you know, so both guys are at this weird fork in the road. For Darius, it's like, all right, are you gonna be a world champion, a contender? Because you got to get by Tony Ferguson. For Tony Ferguson to go, it's gonna be the narrative's gonna be backs against the wall. This will be your third loss in a row if you lose this one. The pressure's on Tony Ferguson. You know, and he, he he's looked pretty bad those last two fights. So I'm I'm sure people are counting Tony Ferguson out. I'm not ready to count him out yet. I think Tony Ferguson is top five toughest guys to ever fight in the UFC, uh, and his his style is very unconventional. The problem is with his style, and you know I know people are saying you just can't fight like that. Over time, it's going to catch up with you. Mm, he's done pretty fucking well fighting the way he has. The shame was in the peak of his career, he didn't fight the Khabib uh, man. That that's the 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 most devastating thing about his career because that matchup would have been fantastic. For Tony Ferguson, it's not that his career is catching up with him. I I think he's fighting guys who are technically better, and Tony has this has just this smorgasbord of of different techniques that aren't conventional, from his jiu-jitsu to his wrestling to his movement to his striking. And when you fight a guy who is more technically sound and can see through all that, all that shit, man, it, you, Tony Ferguson struggles, especially, you know, when he's fighting these uh, upper echelon guys. Is Darius upper echelon? We're going to find out. Does Darius have the skills on the feet and the ground to beat Tony Ferguson? Yes. Um, if, if this was a jiu-jitsu match, Darius would win. I and I don't think that's again. It's not going to surprise the hardcores. You guys know what the fuck's going on here. I'm not saying anything that's enlightening to you, but what I am saying for those of you that don't know is Darius is a is a very very good black belt, world class black belt, phenomenal black belt on the ground. Um, Tony Ferguson doesn't come from that same field of training where the basics you know get him out of tricky situations like you know you saw in previous fights charles Oliveira, other fights where he's on the ground uh, you know kevin lee where he mounted him you know he's not doing the traditional jiu-jitsu movement so you know what tony's great at is he's very dangerous in the transitions with his darces and his anacondas and his triangles good it's gonna be tough to catch a guy like darius in that stuff and that's a huge asset for tony Ferguson not to have and um you know I, I, I don't want to bet against Tony Ferguson because you're talking about a, a wounded animal that's back against the wall, and Tony Ferguson's so fucking tough. But my, my heart tells me to go with Darius here. It really does. I, I think it's his time.